Hello everybody, DF here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys uh, my bloody stealth commando slash ultimate fixer guide just in general. I got a bunch of different fixers to show you guys today. I'm going to have uh, legendary per card loadouts, uh, per card loadouts, um, meditations, armor, just I'm going to try and show you guys all, even the mods for the guns as well. I'll be showing you guys. So first off i'm going to show you guys just some damage numbers real quick so this would be the bloodied vats crit at 168. i got a bloodied explosive aristocrats or no not bloodied Ex uh, aristocrats explosive 15 percent faster reload 179. this one is just an aristocrats with vats crit so 149. Here we got a vampire's explosive this one will do really well because the explosive actually helps out with the vampire effect so it'll heal you just a little bit more even if you don't hit him with a bullet if you hit him with the explosive the explosive damage will heal you um, quad vats crit which this will give you the highest dps output and then i have a bloodied uh ap refresh with a fats critical meters fill 15 percent faster and then last but not least my executioner 25 25 which i love especially if they're under 40 percent health this thing dominates let's see here just some numbers so 125 the bloodied one goes up to 168 quad is at 125 vampires explosive is at 150 aristocrats vats crit is at 149 and then if you were to look at the bloodied vats crit is 168 so honestly aristocrats is actually a really really viable like option now i would say it's a tier one for sure and then this was my aristocrats explosive now i'm show you guys my mutations real quick general reaction definitely the must obviously if you're gonna go for bloodied um eagle eyes for the crit damage and then uh speed demon just for the reload speed and then armor full unyielding secret service three star you could definitely get better rolls with this like ammo weight reduced and everything weapon weight reduction so and then let's go right into perk cards all right, so perk cards, I wanted to sit here for a little bit and talk about real quick. So obviously you wanna go with all the commandos and everything, but you could totally switch out, like I have a few 15% faster reload weapons. You could totally switch out concentrated fire rank three for rank one, and then just put like rank two ground pounder for instance. And that would also work well and make your gun reload very, very, very fast. Um, you could also, I like running gunsmith because it just keeps all my weapons like, you know, so I don't have to like break or so they don't break as much and I don't have to fix them and repair them as much tenderizer and bloodied mess. You want to hold together because those are going to give you a lot more damage. These two together are such a good combo. And then uh, covert ops, if you're sneaking, bloody stealth commando, you definitely want that. You want that maxed out so you can do 2.5 times normal damage. Um, rank 5 adrenaline, you could definitely take off rank 5 adrenaline. You could put like action boy, rank 1 adrenaline, and for instance, gun fu if you like um, swapping in between bats. If you don't want to manually do it and you want it to just automatically swap in between bats, it's like you could totally do that. And like, yeah, you would lose a little bit of damage with the instead of rank five adrenaline, but you know, with how much you'd be killing and slaying, you probably already do enough damage as is. And then, uh, let's see, better criticals would be my last one that I would say is just definitely must have. Um, and then if you're using vampire weapons, you want ricochet. Ricochet with vampire weapons, whenever they shoot you and you have a vampire weapon and you're equipped then those shots are gonna heal you. The enemy's shots are gonna heal you. So that definitely, like if you wanna stay alive and if, if you ever do break out of sneak, ricochet with a vampire's weapon, such a great combo, cause it'll just keep you alive. Um, legendary perks, taking one for the team is not a must have, especially if you're bloody self commando. 
or stealth commando period just because if you're in stealth then enemies taking 40 percent more damage when they attack you they're not going to be attacking you but if you have a break sneak and you're not you know sneaking anymore then this is perfect just because you know now you're gonna have somewhat of a damage you know output like a higher damage output than you would normally have because you know what i mean you're not in sneak anymore and then follow through for when you're in sneak so that way you're doing 40 percent more damage on your sneak attacks and then the rest i just have for adding in more perk cards just more legendary special perk cards and now we'll go slay some stuff well actually i wanted to show you guys real quick some of the mods on the weapons so as you guys can see all of my weapons have the same exact mods on them but if you wanted to the aligned long barrel you could do a line short or long i like long forceful stock you could also do a line stock but as you can see the condition bar will drop that's why i prefer forceful stock they'll both give you um less ap like drain from like your shot per shot so forceful or aligned you're you're doing good but i prefer forceful because i don't want my weapon to break as much and if you have 50 percent break slower on your weapon that's actually a pretty good third star uh reflex sight you could go reflex sight or glow sights as far as i'm concerned those work uh both work really really well um and then swift magazine would actually be the better option instead of stinging magazine would give you less ap per shot all right so let's see here to start off we're gonna use the bloodied real quick and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into vats we're gonna try and make him upset real quick get him up there we go and then we'll see how many shots exactly it takes one two three four five six seven so seven shots with bloody that's no vats crit just straight shooting and then now we'll go try a different weapon all right now for this one we're gonna be pulling out my aristocrats vats crit This one's doing 149 per shot right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the aristocrats took ten. All right. So for this one, we're going to do the executioners 25 25. While he's getting up, I'm going to show you the damage real quick. Oh wow, this one's legendary. I guess this one won't work out. We'll just slay him. Cause he's legendary, he'll regen. All right, so for this one, we're gonna try my executioners, which while he's waking up, oh, I guess he's not gonna wake up right now, but I can show you guys 125 right now. Now he'll wake up. one unless it doesn't load um is it gonna load there we go hit him once but he's going far away okay two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven <clears throat> all right so i got the quad out now but i will say it was harder to get the numbers for the executioners just because of the faster fire rate but this is putting out the same amount of damage just not the 40 percent under 40 percent health so this should take about the same amount of shots probably around like 11. So, let's see here come on come over here servers are pretty laggy one two three four five six seven eight 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Alright, so now, since you guys have kind of seen it, I truly feel that uh, no matter what, like the servers might be a little laggy or whatever, but quad vats for it definitely would be the higher DPS output just because you don't have to reload. So now we're just going to go full auto on these. There we go. And we'll do vats crit. So you guys saw that. Forgot to show you guys, so Bandolier and Blocker are the ones that I run in strength. I forgot that my camera was like blocking it. Master Commando, Commando, Expert Commando, Tank Killer, obviously. And then Concentrated Fire that were over here. So those my camera blocking those in the first like few minutes of the video. But I switched Demo Expert on, Rank 1 Gunsmith for this. Uh, rank 1 Better Criticals, and then Rank 3 Ricochet. So you can, guys can... Just get an idea of the healing effect that it'll take place. So now we'll just kind of walk up. Somebody else was kind of here attacking these guys, but you guys will get an idea. I scatter your brains. Yeah, see, they just keep on bringing me back to full health. Like. And now I'm starting to get a little low. Shoot a little bit. Vampire effect will keep me alive. But also, you're gonna be in sneak anyway. So really, it's just enough to keep you alive when your sneak breaks. That's really what I would say Ricochet is for. It'll keep you alive just while you're sneak broken. You're not sneaking anymore. You don't have to worry about it as much. Server's a little laggy. Alright, so out of all these weapons that I've showed you guys, the bloodied, the aristocrats, the quad, and the vampires, what I would say is like the vampires explosive it's definitely like you know like these were I, to me these are all like tier one like if you're gonna be using any of these you're gonna be fine like as long as you run these perk cards too as well like you'll be fine the damage numbers and everything i would say like bloodied vats crit would definitely have the highest damage number but quad vats crit will definitely do the highest DPS. So, I mean, over time, you're gonna do more damage with the quad. So like if you're on a boss fight or anything, you could, you're not, either way, you're going, you're, go, you're gonna be fine if you're using bloody door quad. And then vampires as well, like you'll be fine because you're gonna be doing, you won't be putting out as much damage, but you'll still, you'll be staying alive a lot longer, especially if you do break sneak, like at least like you'll get some health. Regen. Last but not least, I wanted to show you guys my bloodied with AP refresh. And then let's also throw a demo expert back off. We'll put rank 5 gunsmith back on. First aid we'll throw on just for a little bit. We'll take ricochet off just because we don't really need ricochet anymore. I'll we'll put rank three better criticals. And then, as you guys will see throughout this thing, I'm gonna keep all of my AP. Whenever my AP runs out, it's just gonna be regening right back to full. see as you guys can see i'm like my ap just keeps on regening all the way back up it's like this ap refresh is amazing to me especially if you're coming through and you're just trying to slay 
like level up or just you know for XP gains basically or like legendary hunting this is gonna be a perfect weapon for you because you will never run out of AP See, as soon as my AP gets low, I'm just, I'm already back, back up. And then yeah, see, as long as, like, as long as I have AP refresh on my gun, like I pretty much don't ever have to really worry about AP again. Now granted on boss fights this wouldn't work so much because it's just one enemy so it's not like you're going to be killing a bunch anyway. But definitely a gun that you would want because with ever kill bats or non bats you're gonna you know what i mean you're gonna get all that ap back all right everybody that's my fixer guide so far uh that was just a little bit of tests here and there showing all the numbers showing all the mods showing all perks and legendary perks and everything else you could kind of do with the build and everything there's definitely you know some room for improvement so if that you know what i mean if you guys see anything that you know i could have put in or didn't add in definitely comment down below you know make sure to like and subscribe it greatly you know greatly appreciate it and it helps me out so much so really appreciate it uh thanks for thanks for everything yes